exists. You know, people don't realize what war is. People uh, uh, see war on TV. On TV, you know, blood looks uh, like this, the idea of them. che ormai sia un po' un dovere per me di condannare gli uomini che ammazzano gli uomini con le guerre. Nessun episodio che potesse provocare questa irruzione pazza, violenta. The lady I'm about to introduce is a legend uh, in her way. Uh, she's a, a journalist and uh, one of the most envied ones in the world. Um, I have often heard that people have submitted interviews with her and then wish they hadn't done them afterwards and yet they continue to do them because she has a reputation for being one of the great journalists uh, of our time. She did the interview with Henry Kissinger which he then read and said I was stupid to give that and um, it's very rare for him to give a private interview but she got one and then she did an incredible interview with President Thieu of South Vietnam and uh, will you welcome please uh, the remarkable Oriana Falaci. This can't be very exciting for you. You've covered wars and riots and been in planes and tanks and trenches and the Middle East and everywhere. And it's my work. Uh, Dr. Kissinger is a, a diplomatic, is a politician. And uh, we all know that uh, politics and diplomacy are the sublimation of lying. And sometimes they do have to lie. Yeah, they have to. I mean, I do understand that. Yeah. It's a necessity. Right. But I am a writer, I am a journalist, and I have to do all the contrary. I have to write the truth. Her conversation with political leaders, including Henry Kissinger and Ayatollah Khomeini, were at the times confrontational, but always revealing. A child of socialists, she had contempt for authority and once wrote, I have always looked at disobedience towards the oppressive as the only way to use the miracle of having been born. Are you most proud of? Several things, my honesty, my guts, if you want, which is recognized, and, uh, and my independence of judgment. I have never written something that would not be the result of a choice that I thought it was a fair choice, without being intimidated by anybody. I love life. I think that being born is extraordinary, even when life is ugly. Oriana Falacci, journalist, war correspondent and author, died last week in her hometown of Florence, Italy. She was 77. She had suffered from cancer for many years. She is perhaps one of the most provocative interviewers of her generation or any generation whose fame reached its peak in the 1970s. 